Welcome to the first Pawsey Capital Refresh podcast. My name is Aditi and I'll be hosting you over the next few months where our expert staff will update you on the progress of Pawsey's Capital Refresh. Today, I have Mark Stickles with me, the Executive Director of the Pawsey Supercomputing Centre. Mark, what exactly is the Pawsey Capital Refresh? Hi Aditi, um, and thanks for the, uh, the opportunity to, uh, to do this podcast. The Capital Refresh Project's a, a very exciting project and it's one that really touches everyone in Pawsey because it really um, reaches out to all aspects of our infrastructure, um, our, our system development and, uh, and our plans for the, the next major phase of, of Pawsey. Can you give us an update on its progress? Um, we've just completed the first 12 months of the Capital Refresh and we've been quite busy through that period establishing the governance structure, um, the development of a, of a very detailed project schedule, and uh, completed our first annual report uh, on, the, on the project. Um, in parallel with all of those sorts of governance and management activities, uh, we've also progressed a, a few of the key uh, procurements that, that make up the, the whole capital refresh program. And they include aspects of high-speed storage, long-term storage, uh, our cloud compute systems, the MWA compute cluster, elements of building works, maintenance and the, uh, the major system upgrade. So you can see that it's been a, in quite a busy first year. So first things first, how are the high speed storage systems being upgraded? So the high speed storage is being upgraded through a number of procurements. Uh, firstly, and it's, a, it's an important part of why Pawsey is here, is, is support for the, the astronomy communities. Um, we've procured an expansion of the existing astronomy file system and a new buffer file system. We've actually completed the uh, file system expansion for astronomy and uh, the buffer file system is being installed and we're performing some acceptance testing during August. Um, we've also uh, sought uh, to replace the Pawsey Scratch system. So this procurement has been released through the CSIRO Scientific Compute Panel. So installation and acceptance testing for that project is scheduled to occur in Q1 2020. Pawsey offer long-term storage solutions through its TAPE libraries. With the capital refresh, are there any additional TAPE requirements for long-term storage? Um, yes, there are. We've, uh, we, in fact, um, completed an initial procurement of, uh, of TAPE to uh, supplement our um, TAPE storage systems early on the project because this was identified as an urgent requirement. And once those user requirements are endorsed, we'll commence the process of developing the corresponding technical requirements, which also then get reviewed by an expert um, capital refresh technical reference group. Are there any additional procurements being undertaken during the capital refresh? Uh, yes, there are. there are. There are actually a number of components that make up the, the program of the, the capital refresh, and some of them are actually in front of panels now, so I, I, can't, uh, I can't refer to specific uh, matters that are out before the market. But we are developing a, a statement of re requirements for a compute cluster for the MWA project. Um, once we finalise that, we hope to, uh, to proceed via a panel uh, later this year and uh, complete the installation and acceptance testing in the first quarter of next year. MWA and ASCAP are key precursor projects to the Square Kilometre Array and important uh, flagship activities that Pawsey supports. The, growth and the, the continued development of those projects and the timing of our investment in the major replacement of both the Galaxy and the Magnus systems has meant that we've invested some of the capital refresh in a, uh, a dedicated MWA compute cluster upgrade and will then um, transition that to the major systems over the life of the capital program. So included in the, uh, in the capital program is also maintenance of our existing systems that we'll, uh, we'll renew in the next quarter to ensure continuity of service for all of our users. Um, we've got a small allocation in the, in the program for building works because we're expecting only minimal changes required to the infrastructure that'll help establish the baseline performance of the building in the areas of power and cooling. Have the requirements for the new Pawsey supercomputing system been determined and made available? This system upgrade will replace the functionality of both the Magnus supercomputer and the Galaxy supercomputer in a single system. So the requirements for this, um, the, the main system upgrades, um, haven't been determined, um, and, but they're the, the focus of much effort and energy at the moment at, at Pawsey. So we're working on the statement of requirements for that system um, at the moment. When we've resolved those, the procurement will be released via Oztender, and we're working towards um, a release date 
of the, the first quarter of 2020. Um, the procurement itself will provide one large scale balanced sort of high performance computing system that supports the bro broad scope of research users of the Pawsey Centre and the important operational requirements of the two major radio telescopes uh, in ASCAP and MWA. It will also provide a small test or development system that will enable software development and the testing of firmware and software patches prior to the deployment onto the production system. So as you'll see from that, that focus of our procurement, the installation of this new system is going to be undertaken in two phases. The initial phase will provide a production service of at least the same capacity as Magnus and Galaxy and users will be transitioned to phase one of the, the new system um, in an organised way and supported way. Magnus, Galaxy and Zeus will then be decommissioned that will allow sufficient floor space and power and cooling capacity to proceed with the second phase of the Pawsey supercomputing system installation. So Mark, this sounds like a massive project. Do you have any final thoughts? So my closing thoughts, um, well firstly I'd like to just thank everyone that's involved in this project. It's, uh, it really is an exciting time to be at Pawsey. We've got tremendous support from um, the Australian Government, the State Government and our core partners. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge that there are a lot of people who are stakeholders and, and if you like volunteers who are, who are working on our advisory committees and reference groups and are, and are asked to support the work of the, the Pawsey Frontline on this capital project and, uh, and really um, value their, their input into this um, and helping us to deliver um, over the next couple of years because it is a, a multi-year project, uh, something that is significant and, uh, and really keeps Pawsey and its systems and the science that we support at the forefront. Thanks Aditi for setting up this podcast. Um, so there is a link at the end of this podcast if you'd like to give us any feedback and which we will, uh, we will appreciate and, uh, and, uh, and take on board um, as we prepare the next one in September.